Kia ora everyone, uh, this is the Badminton New Zealand events team, my name's Sam. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jono. And we have a few questions that we're going to be running through today and uh, just hoping you can get to know us a little bit better. Cool. What misconception people have around events, if they want to... Sam, do you want to go first? Oh, that's me. Alright. So the big one for me is, uh, it's probably, think of events like an iceberg. Uh, what you see of an event is probably the on the day work and that is uh, the tip of the iceberg that floats above the ocean. However for us the real key and the majority of the event happens below the ocean. Uh, that really makes our life a lot easier and that is what we focus on. So key thing to remember, badminton events, iceberg. Here's our next question. What is your pet peeve when it comes to events, Michelle? Uh, when you get things in late, always meet the deadline people, you don't have to enter on the last day in the last hour. Big thing for me is people who are desperate to have a umpire for their own match and they're expecting a player to umpire for them, but they're not willing to umpire for another player. Mate, that doesn't make sense. Uh, we've all got to be considerate and all uh, work together on a quality experience. Cool. Alright, next question. What is your favourite event? So I've actually got two favourite events. I really love seeing the whole spectrum of players competing in our events. So for me it's both the under 13s and the Masters National Champions seeing our youngest players and our oldest players all still on court, having a great time and enjoying their badminton. So this year I think in particular we had 80 year olds playing badminton as well as 10 year olds playing badminton and for me that's really cool. Cool. Uh, mine personally is uh, New Zealand Junior Team Champs in Palming. Um, I think it's amazing to see how all the associations pull together players, volunteers, coaches um, and a handful of managers and parents um, just to make it one giant masterpiece um, and it's very cool to see all the different age groups in action at the same time. And my favourite event is undoubtedly, and I think everyone knows this, New Zealand Secondary School Championships because this is a real opportunity for us to engage with our wider badminton community. So often it's uh, Badminton New Zealand with our rep squads of the different associations. However, here we have a chance to grow the sport, connect with the schools, meet players that we wouldn't otherwise meet during the season. And it's a real key opportunity, I think, for all of us in the badminton community. And I think hopefully we can do a little bit more of a focus on this as we move into 2021. Um, so the next one for me is, how would you best describe each other's strengths? So uh, Michelle, how about you start with me? Uh, it's probably an easy place to start. Uh, Sam is a mastermind when it comes to Excel. If you need anything in Excel, if you need a formula or if you need a statistic, see this guy. The great thing about Jono is he's very clear with his instructions, so uh, if you're in a situation where you're a little stressed or a bit under the pump, uh, Jono will say, ABC, this is everything you have to do, and so you can just follow his steps that he gives, or I'm probably a bit more, you know, hey mate, you need to be thinking about what you're trying to do, but when you're stressed, that, that's not what you want to hear, so uh, that's a real key um, communication style of Jono's. One of the things Michelle does really well at our events is engage with the players. She's maybe a bit more youth adjacent, so she gets in there with the Instagram and Facebook and does it's a bit of the behind the scenes of actually how to tell our story of what's going on at our events from a different angle and show the human side of our events as well as, you know, just more than just the matches. Next question. Tell us a fun fact about yourself. Oh that so my fun fact is I'm today going to complete 365 days of learning Spanish on Duolingo. I did study about five years in school as well, but you know, it was a milestone and a little badge in the app, so Congrats. big day today. So a fun fact about me is uh, actually when I was in Bangkok a few years ago, uh, I found out I was allergic to scorpions. Uh, so on a very interesting evening, I uh, tried a scorpion kebab and um, it must have similar venom to bees, which I'm also allergic to, and my face just went large. And uh, so yeah, fun fact, I'm allergic to scorpions. Cool. Uh, fun fact about me, my favourite holiday in the year is my birthday, and if I had a choice, I would celebrate it over a whole month. Birthday month is a thing here. Draw and describe yourself using one emoji.
All right, so here we go. This is my emoji. It's sunglasses guy, not the guy with the, the nerdy guy with the glasses. See the difference? Same, same. Okay. Just the cool guy. Chilled, relaxed, having fun. Okay. Michelle's turn. She's gonna use a different. And the size emoji. Hmm. I'm an eggplant. And game over. Banned for life. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for the next episode.